Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another Arc Garage video. Today I'm gonna show you how to fix flashing odometer after blue and me module removal. But more importantly, I'm gonna show you how to fix proxy alignment issues. Of course, it's not always gonna go smooth and uh, today I'm gonna show you the problems that I had to face and how I fixed them. Also, check out our channel, we got loads of Papa Romeo videos and support us by subscribing so we can grow and make more videos like this for you. I've removed the Blue and Me module altogether. If you want to see how to do that, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, I've decided to do this because it doesn't really have any use. However, when you remove it, the odometer will start flashing and uh, as i said before i'm gonna show you how to deal with that today to do this you're gonna need this yellow adapter the elm cable and the multi ecu scan so i'm just gonna plug the cable into the obd port i've uh, selected my car i got body on the left side and we're gonna check out the can info first i'm gonna hit y and here you can see a list of configured control units. You can essentially see the modules which are present on your car and the ones that are not. The one that I'm interested in is this info telematic convergence node and that's gonna be your blue and me module. You can see a bunch of other things too and the list is quite extensive. Next I'm gonna select the proxy alignment procedure. I'm gonna hit connect Y and Y again and here you can see the list of modules which are on the CAN network. The one that uh, I'm interested in is this convergence telematic node. The issue here is that there's just a slash, it doesn't really say anything, it doesn't say OK or it doesn't say removed and this could actually pose the issue later on. Next I'm gonna go to adjustments and again here you can see all of the options that uh, your car has available some of them are enabled some are disabled and the one thing that I have to strongly suggest is that you read all of the notes on the right side now this proxy alignment procedure is not complicated at all but there are still a few little things that you need to pay attention to so uh, I got my proxy alignment procedure selected and I'm gonna hit the execute button I'm gonna hit Y and now you can see exactly uh, which modules are being programmed and right on the end of it you can see it says success now it's gonna go through all of the modules from that list we've seen before and if, if everything goes right the procedure is gonna be completed Alright, we got the airbag node right here. And you can see that it says failed uh, request is out of range or something. I didn't really see it good. See, it's still right into this convergence thematic node, even though uh, the module, the blue and me module, is completely out. And you can see that the proxy alignment procedure was not executed. First thing I'm going to be dealing with is that airbag node out of range message. The one thing that could be causing this is the seat belt. So for example, if you have a car seat in the back, it could prevent you from doing the proxy alignment. Or for example, if you are using these to prevent the car from beeping when you don't have your seat belt on, uh, take them out. Everything is looking good here. You can see that the passenger seat is in green, but that's only because it has a pressure plate. Now this middle seat in the back is in green and the seat belt is not in. After I inspected it, I've noticed that these two wires on the back are broken off. So essentially what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the insulation off and I'm gonna connect them together. 
let's see what's gonna happen if I connect these two wires and you can see that the middle seat in the back is now in red so next thing that I'm gonna do I'm gonna temporarily connect these two wires and insulate them next I'm gonna perform the proxy alignment procedure again and we're gonna see if uh, it made a difference All right, here we have the airbag node. And it says success, so that's good. Now here's another issue. It's still written to convergence telematic node. And as you already know, the blue enemy module is out and of course it's gonna fail. So uh, that is the issue that I'm gonna deal with next and uh, it's gonna actually be very easy to fix. I'm just gonna remove the negative cable from the battery and to do that you can just press this red button and pull the cable off. I'm gonna keep it like this for maybe like 10 minutes. Alright, I got the car hooked up again and here's the first sign you can see that the blue enemy module is not present with that dash. So I'm gonna perform the proxy alignment procedure again. And uh, let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, here's our airbag node. That's success. And as you can see, that's pretty much it. It's not trying to do anything else. And that is it. Now I'm gonna put the key in the off position. I've uh, waited 10-15 seconds and I'm gonna start up the car and let's see if the odometer still flashes. And as you can see that was a success. Uh, the odometer doesn't flash anymore and everything is functioning perfectly. Anyway that would be all for this video. I hope you find it useful. If you did hit that like button and support our channel by subscribing.